All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. J, and of course, we are starting the week, we are starting the month, and of course, it is not another single month. It is the most important August, and that means that Real Madrid will allegedly sign to Kylian Mbappe this month. So let's cross the fingers, and hopefully, I can tell you all in about 15 days that Real Madrid has already signed to Kylian Mbappe to play the next year in Real Madrid. So this is a very exciting day. This is a very exciting month. Let's see what happens. I will keep you posted whatever it happens. I mean, as you know, we have now some information coming in from England about the price of the player, about the not call for the uh, games of Mbappe for you know the French Super Cup and the debut in the French La Liga and all the stuff but whatever it happens okay I will let you know and I will keep you posted but before to announce the signing of Kylian Mbappe for Real Madrid let me um I mean let me give you all today some drops some of information regarding to our team and this is very important information because I will uh, speak about the possibility for Real Madrid to go ahead and sign Erling Haaland because in my opinion Chelsea is about to commit a very huge mistake that might um, help us to sign the Norwegian player maybe for the for this season maybe for the next season but anyways it's going to be great if they go ahead and commit this mistake I will let you know now Real Madrid will be the only one in the race for Erling Haaland but before they get started with that information I will let you know that Ancelotti, according to some outlets in Spain, uh, is interested in signing Kalidou Koulibaly as the fourth center back. I mean, as you know, Ancelotti knows very well this player because they were working together in Napoli two years ago. Uh, Ancelotti was coaching to, Cali, uh, to Kalidou Koulibaly two years ago in Napoli. And of course, Kalidou Koulibaly is a very strong and powerful center back. So that'd be great for Real Madrid because in terms of you know concentration technical wise tactical wise attacking and defensive wise in my opinion Kalidou Koulibaly is one of the top five center backs in Europe right now so that's why Carl Ancelotti is thinking that maybe we need another player like him the problem is do I trust do I believe Real Madrid will sign to Kalidou Koulibaly this season okay so in my opinion that is not possible I mean Napoli is asking about 60 million euros for the player which is of course something we cannot afford in the season we are going to sign we are supposed to sign Kylian Mbappe so although I think that Carlo Ancelotti maybe is very interested in the player because he thinks that he can provide a bunch of good stuff to Real Madrid I don't think that is going to happen but let me tell you something Kalidou Koulibaly is a very good defender when it comes to for example concentration anticipation uh, um, a guy who never commits any mis any single mistake when it comes to, for example, the forwards uh, catching the bag or things like that. I mean, he's a very concentrated guy and he's a very similar guy actually in different features to Harry Maguire or even Rafa Ran. I mean, nothing to do with defenders like Sergio Ramos or David Alaba. For example, Koulibaly is a player who will never score a single goal because he didn't score last season, will not give you or provide any single assist because he didn't provide any assist last year. But, for example, is a player, like I said, will never commit, you know, dumb or stupid mistakes like Sergio Ramos used to do sometimes. I mean, Sergio Ramos committed a couple mistakes that lead to goal and lead to shoots uh, on target last, not last season, the previous season, Two of them, both of them, right? So Kalibuli didn't commit any mistake, so that's why he's a very similar player to Rafa Ram, for example, or even Harry Maguire. I mean, it's a player will, that will not provide a single thing in attack, but when it comes to the defense, he's a very, very strong and powerful player, and of course, a very smart player. So that's why Carlo Ancelotti is very interested in signing him because he thinks that he could provide some good stuff to Real Madrid. But I don't know what is going to happen and I would say that it will not happen because the player is super expensive right now for Real Madrid and in a year where you have to spend um, maybe a lot of millions in signing Kylian Mbappe, this is not the right moment for Kalidou Koulibaly to sign for Real Madrid. Okay, so now let's move ahead, let's move forward, and let's keep talking about another player, Karim Benzema, who is about to sign a renewal contract until 2023. I mean, it's very good news, 
of course I'm very happy to hear that uh, Karim Benzema will renew his contract with Real Madrid this is something completely expected because everybody knows Karim Benzema wants to finish his career in Real Madrid I mean his best years right because apparently he wants to get back to France to play in Olympique de Lyon and help with whatever uh, he can help to uh, Olympique de Lyon but the best years and we are talking about the the peak the the best form of his career might be for Real Madrid he wants to finish okay his career in Real Madrid so that's why he's going to renew his contract until 2023 but the funny thing here or the interesting here um, it is because I read in the information from the article where I read uh, this information is that Karim Benzema refused the possibility to renew his contract with Real Madrid until 2024 just because he wants to make sure that he is in a perfect condition for playing in Real Madrid. So if he noticed that he's not okay, he's not 100%, he's a little bit tired, he's a little bit, you know, exhausted or something like that, then he will retire before that happened, even before than 2023. So if he stays in Real Madrid, it is because he feels that he is able to play in a very top condition, in a very good condition for Real Madrid and deliver the best of him to Real Madrid. Because otherwise, it's a completely nonsense. Why do you want to extend the contract of a player if he's not in the best shape ever, if, if he's not in a very tough condition for the for the team, right? For the squad. So in my opinion, this is a this makes me an idea of how honest is Karim Benzema with Real Madrid. He's a player who, in my opinion, really loves to Real Madrid. And of course, this is something that really I mean, we should prize this this kind of behavior because not every single player is such honest player with the club, with the squad. Other players try to extend their contracts, whatever it takes, and and be, just because they only want, they are only looking in their own interest. You know what I'm saying? But Karim Benzema is a completely different person, and in my opinion, is a very good player for Real Madrid. Just because this kind of behavior is not only because all what he delivers on the field is also what he delivers to the rest of the squad the institution the brand all these kind of things right so benzema is going to be one of the legends with no doubt to real madrid when he retires when he goes another when he goes out to play for another club or whatever it is so i mean it's going to happen in about two days maybe three days that benzema will renew will make it official his renewal contract with real madrid until 20 23. Okay, so now let's move forward and now we are going to start to talk about what I told you that um, about how Erling Haaland might be the next top uh, player, the next big name coming into Real Madrid. And the reason is pretty much because Chelsea is about to commit a huge mistake or what in my opinion is a huge mistake. If you take a look at the stats of Chelsea last year when they signed a lot of players, a bunch of players, very good players, the most of them for the forward, Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, um, Hakik, uh, Hakim Sijek, and all these people. The problem is, in the end of the season, the top scorer was Jorginho, who is a midfielder, with only seven goals. And Timo Werner only scored, I think it was four goals, and then Hakim Sijek, four goals as well, uh, Kai Havertz. I mean, if there is something that Chelsea needs, is the goal so in my opinion the top priority for Chelsea shouldn't be Jules Koundé but a forward like Erling Haaland but now for I've been for what I've been told is that they are about to sign Jules Koundé for 60 million euros which is great for Los Madridistas because if they spend such amount of money in a center back when they already have to Antonio Rudiger, Thiago Silva, Christensen and all these people but they are insisting in signing another center back Real Madrid will be the only one in the race for Erling Haaland whether this year or the next year so from a Madridista perspective this is great news because whether you want to go ahead this year or the next year you will be the only one because you have to rule out Manchester United already signed to Jadon Sancho 90 million euros and also Rafa Varane right and Manchester City is about to sign Grealish and then possibly I mean not sure but possibly they might sign to Hurricane so I don't I mean 
there's no other single team in Europe right now with the money, with the possibility to sign a player like Erling Haaland and the most important contenders, competitors when it comes to signing Erling Haaland, there were the English teams. I mean, Manchester United, Chelsea or even Manchester City. So if they already sign other players and they completely rule out to Erling Haaland, in my opinion, that is going to be great for Los Madridistas because we can go ahead now and try to sign Erling Haaland, which is great because we could have potentially the best attacker in the best attacking in the world. I mean, Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe, maybe I don't know, Vinicius, Gareth Bale, Hazard, or any other player that we already have. So if you have to two players, the best two players, arguably the best two players of the world in the attack, that is going to be great. And the other possibility for Real Madrid is to change a little bit, try to sign Erling Haaland this year, and then postpone the signing of Kylian Mbappe for the next year but even if that kind of frame that would be great for Real Madrid because you can sign two of the best players in the world for the price of just one because you would only have to pay for Erling Haaland maybe 150 once 170 million and then Kylian Mbappe would sign for free which is great for Real Madrid so hopefully let's cross the fingers and see how Chelsea makes this huge in my opinion mistake in signing Jules Koundé I mean we were also interested in signing Jules Koundé but for us I mean we're good with that I mean if you sign to Jules Koundé you know the things he can provide to the team but if you can or if you already have two different players like Militao, Nacho or David Alaba playing in the defense I think that we, we're good with that because if we are able to sign Erling Haaland and refusing or ruling out the signing of Jules Koundé, I'm okay with that because if there is something Real Madrid is in need of, it's pretty much the same thing than Chelsea. Goal, we need to score more. We definitely have to be a team um, able to score about 100, goal, uh, 100 goals per season to be competitive as, uh, again. So since the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo, we haven't seen something similar any single of these last three seasons. So we have to get back, come along again and try to score more and more and more and be more productive when, it's, when it comes to scoring goals and all these kind of things. So that's why I'm so happy and hopefully we see Chelsea signing Jules Kunde so Real Madrid can be alone in the race for Erling Haaland. So let's see what happens. I will keep you posted whatever happens and now of course, comment in the section below and hit the subscribe button to this channel, Real Madrid Hub.